G'day Earthlings, how's it going? My name's Mac from LOE and welcome back to another video on Star Trek Online and the next instalment in the Klingon story arc. So I'll get it started. What the bloody hell is that? It's an Iconian or something. So we'll get it started and uh, we will see you at the beginning of the mission. See you in a mo. Right guys, welcome to Research and Rescue. I hope you're doing well, I hope you enjoy the episode. So I'm back in my, um, well I do love that uh, Lotus weapon, I'm back in my Manticore Heavy Destroyer, I would uh, shake up the ships a little bit, yeah lovely ship this, big kick ass, yeah so our Federation scientific team uh, apparently have found something very sinister. Um, but we've got to go and rescue them. Right, here's the A-Team. Let's do it. Yeah, so there are archaeologists and they've discovered something very sinister apparently, so let's go and take a little look. I think it's got the Gorn in. Hopefully. Right, who's this? The Gorn. They just stormed in and started shooting. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. Then, as if destroying decades of archaeological research weren't enough, they started setting fires! Bloody fire starters. The... Not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. Right. I'm Let's coming with you, Captain. Oh. There's too much at stake, and I know this project. Okay. So we need to find a fire extinguisher to fight the fires. So there's one over here. Take down the containment field. I'm glad the Gorn are in it. They're the big sort of lizard Godzilla type things. Um, it was a Gorn that Captain Kirk was fighting, wasn't it, in the original series on Nimbus 3, I think. Uh, yeah, state of the art sort of effects at the time. Which way are we going? So I'll head this way. Klingon invasion was a blow to born self-determination and identity. This one here. Uh, just to let you know, as always, I've got the Mako armor, uh, weapon and shield, uh, which is a good set. I'll beam scientist out. Off you go, love. Get out of here. Right, so we've got one scientist, so we've got six fires to extinguish in total. There's another one. Feels like backdraft. Oh god, is I got this bloody robot. Uh, I can't remember what event it was. Uh, it's bloody useless, it's like Metal Mickey. Just gets in the bloody way all the time. Right, another fire around here. Beauty, so another three fires to go. Oops. Oh, there's another side, you didn't bloody see him there. So we need to do another one. Right, we'll head out, back out this way. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. Enemy targets on 
Uh, the Gorns are usually very tall. These guys don't look very big at the minute. Sure, there'll be some big buggers later on. Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though, it damages your sense of trust. Bloody shapeshifters. Thought Odo has sorted them out. Oh, he's a big bugger. It's Godzilla. Uh, a bit of sun packed lightning. Fry is nuts. Anti proton leash. Oh, he's gonna hurl something at us. Now we got him. Beauty. Fire. Yeah, they've made a bit of a mess, the Gorn. So we've got one more fire to go. Enemy target fire. Yeah, where did he come from? There's a Julian Bashir hologram. He made up his uh, game. He was a pain in the ass, wasn't he, at first on DS9, but um, towards the end, yeah, really liked him. Right, so that's all the fires. So got a couple more. Have I missed a scientist? Oh, it looks like it's back round here. Uh, I did not hit. Yeah. Head up this way again. I should be walk right past him. Oh, he's down here, I think. There he is. That's all the scientists. There's another research team on Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble. Captain, we have to check on them. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, the researchers could be captives. Or worse. Right, let's go get him. Beam up. Leave Metal Mickey the Right, let's get our tactical mode on our destroyer. We're run into a bit of trouble here. There he is down there. Let's go and take a look at him. It's a cruiser. Oh, I do prefer the little ships, I think. You know, they have a faster turn rate. Um, like the tactical escorts and the destroyers have a good turn rate. I do like the big sort of tanks. But, um, I just like the way how fast they are. But obviously, I haven't got the shield capacity and stuff. Good weapons. Right, so I've got to beam down again, I think. Down we go again. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. Lagorn probably came in and took over everything. Don't worry, we'll if sort we them out. If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. You can see the shield generator beams. We can follow those to find the controllers and turn off the system. Right, let's do it. Ah, right, so we're going to uh, disable the shield generators. Looks like there's a few of them up here. Do my Delphic pool. It's like a fart fog that um, drains their energy. civilization that may be a relative of the Gorn. Oh. Gorn in-laws. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the preservers? Who knows? Could well be. Gorn territorial claims aren't entirely without merit. 
but they would displace billions of people. Yeah, that's not right, is it? A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. Okay, I always look for the peaceful way out. If not, just shoot them. One down. More fluctuations. Increase the power to the shields. My ass was fluctuating this morning. I think I've had a bit of a dodgy carry. Oh, we're in the swamp. Right, so we'll just head to the last one and disable that. Here we go. Head around this way. Here we go. Let's go. Last one down. The protected shields are down. Incompetent fools. Right, so we've got to defeat the Gorn Captain. I think he's going to be a bit of a biggie, isn't he? Let's see who's over here. So he's done a runner. There's no sign of the other team. The Gorn must be holding them captive elsewhere. All right, we'll beam back up. So he's beamed back to his ship. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. We will not allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. Prepare for death! Bloody hell, he's a very angry uh, lizard, isn't he? Right, let's get our tactical mode on again. Let's see, where is he? Warning, ship is under attack. Right, so he's right above us. Ship down. It's a good thing with these early missions, they uh, don't take too long. Um, but obviously, if you're a new player, it just gets you into all the controls and all the different things you need to know for later on. Right, we'll beam the hostages aboard. I think he's brown bread. Get out of here. If the archaeological sites in the Kassay system really are from a proto Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Yeah, thanks very much, Admiral. Right guys, so that was Research and Rescue, the third mission in the Klingon story arc. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you would like to if subscribe, that would be absolutely bonza. But uh, until next time, Earthlings, take it easy.